Hi guys, Günther here from Pax Europeana. I'm here from Vienna on the way to the Diplomatic Academy for this Ukraine event. It's a very special day, not because of that event, that's of course also important, but of course it was the day where Mr. Busek was buried. I was at his funeral. It was a very touching, moving and important event. All the Austrian prominent politicians, uh, the former president and many people have honored him. The prime minister was there as well and it was a very special day. A tragic day because he could have done so much good still had he lived and he is one of the victims of, indirect victims of the war of Putin because he was so active to, in the age of 80 uh, to stop this war and to work for peace. And this is the mission, a pledge to continue the mission for peace and the mission for European unity, his mission, the Balkans in the European Union to support Ukraine. Ah, he was not always in favor of the EU and NATO membership like me, but okay, we had our differences in some issues as well. But this is now the topic I have published now uh, op-ed in uh, the main Austrian newspaper and very clearly saying that uh, we have to integrate Ukraine in the European Union and also proposed my 10 point um, uh, plan for European Ukraine, that big debt package, the 1.5 trillion package uh, to fund uh, the EU integration of Ukraine, the reconstruction and also the rearmament of Europe and to make sure that we have a EU of 37 members and that also the integration works fast by 2029. I have another interview today I made for one of the regional newspapers in Austria and basically that's the plan now that I propose a new debt instrument of 1.5 trillion. Some of my viewers, some of you might have seen it already, I proposed it in Belgrade. Actually there was a lot of media reaction on my visit in Belgrade, um, in Serbia and this was also then reflected in Austrian media and this is basically what is happening at the moment. Yeah? And I will keep you posted. I will go now to this event with Mr. Churinda, the former the reformer of Slovakia. He's now the head of the Martin Center. And he was already in 2006 uh, in the Orange Times, Orange Ukraine in favor of EU integration. He is a great visionary and European leader. And I hope that I have the possibility to ask him and remind him what he said in 2005-06 already, that we should have integrated Ukraine at that moment already in the European Union. But it was Schröder, Merkel, Schüssel who didn't do that. And now we have to pay this heavy price of the war because of the 15 years of rejection of Ukraine. And this confrontation just got much worse because if we had uh, integrated Ukraine back then, as I proposed and many <laughs> like the Slovaks and others have proposed, we would be in a much better strategic situation and Russia was much weaker then. Now Russia is of course weak again, but we have lost 15 years and that's a tragedy. And now we have to catch up. It's very expensive, I know, but this is exactly what we need to do. This is exactly the plan, the 1.5 trillion debt plan, the integration into, of Ukraine into the European Union, and especially the EU security guarantee. Because in no way it's acceptable that the EU is doing a, uh, the, somehow distance uh, from uh, the peace plan. <laughs> what, I've re what now in Istanbul, the negotiations, that uh, China, Israel, whatever, Turkey, <laughs> they all, uh, and America and Russia are securing Ukraine and uh, the EU, only some member states. That's utterly unacceptable. It must be the European Union which is securing. Of course, there can be NATO and the EU, USA and maybe even China, <laughs> whatever that is worth, huh? and Israel. But the real guarantee must be the European Union, because that's the future of Ukraine, obviously, as a full member. And if then the EU is not signing such a security guarantee, it is completely irrelevant actor on the European continent. Yeah? That's absolutely unacceptable. I'm here in the middle of the street, so... <laughs> I try not to run into any car. So what is really important is to have this security guarantee by the European Union and to have this peace plan, also the funding attached, 
which is also of course used for rearmament. Uh, we need a nuclear deterrent. We need also to have uh, the whole cost of the war and the energy transition, of course, because Russia can only be relieved from the sanctions after 24th of February if Russia completely withdraws into the lines before the 24th of February. So it must be very clear and it's very logic. Uh, we had sanctions before, they were for Crimea and Donbass and they are the sanctions for that. There are new sanctions after the 24th and only if Russia withdraws into the 23rd lines, yeah, then they can be relieved. Otherwise, they will continue. And nobody comes, please, with this idea, oh, we have to be nice to Russia if they just take uh, Melitopol, Mariupol and all the others. Yeah? No, this is the killers. Yeah? This is the butcher of Mariupol. Yeah? We should be very happy if we don't bill him the whole cost yeah, for the destruction. Actually, he should be billed anyhow. But uh, the sanctions uh, in the energy sector must be complete now and they must be fully and they must be kept. Huh? This is absolutely vital now in the development of the next days that we do this peace plan. We do also the clear promise of EU membership and fast track. And for all nine countries, not only for, um, for um, Ukraine, but obviously for Kosovo, for Bosnia, for Serbia. <laughs> Yeah, and of course for the free NATO allies. For Serbia I say like this because it can only be the case if they fully comply and turn to the West. Again, I call to vote against Vucic and against Orban because they are absolutely wrong. They are Putin's last man, as I say in my podcast all the time already. Good, I will go now to this event and um, we'll discuss about all these issues, European and Ukraine. And tomorrow is the EU37 event and please support the EU integration of Ukraine, Kosovo, Bosnia and the turn to the West, back to the West from Serbia and from um, yeah, Serbia mainly and Hungary of course. Yeah? And I hope uh, Orban will lose and Vucic will lose. Yeah. Good, so far from now from Pax Arubiana and the memory of Dr. Busek, please keep it up and support fast track enlargement to 37 countries. Thanks a lot. More to come from Paxa Rubiana. Bye.